Hello, welcome to Shaw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Psalms 118.24. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. So, yeah, just taking it one day at a time, I guess. Oh, sorry. Okay, so you're on the ironing board because I have a lot of mess going on here. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, a lot of mess. Um, so we're gonna start with what's right here. No, no, no. Okay, let's start with crochet and get it over with. So, um, I finished this. It is not blocked, and until it's blocked, I'm gonna reserve judgment. Um, because I think the front yarn is too springy. But I think once it's blocked and it loosens up, it, you know, it will be, because it's a single ply and it's, it was all kinked, remember? So I think it will relax a little bit and I will be happier with it. But I did finish this. I haven't woven the ends yet. Um, all of the lines at the front do, do come out, you know, show it on this side and this side so yeah i like it i just i don't know i think it's too spoiling me for what i had wanted it to be so there's that sorry okay <laughs> touchy camera today it's just because it's on the ironing board i have stuff everywhere i have stuff here i have stuff here i have stuff there i have stuff there let's just say i got inspired didn't it just hit me that it was june coming up june and i don't have christmas done so kind of freaked out a little bit and i also decided that i wanted to have something to work on always so i looked online and got it anyway so first things first i got really irritated because I needed to go buy some sheets. Now y'all know that I know fiber and that includes cotton and back, you know, in the day there was just white cotton sheets in the summer. That's all you used. Okay. And then there was heavier cotton sheets in the winter. Um, somebody's absolutely a genius on this. Okay. That's all I'm going to say, but it irritates me because they make it seem like they've actually put some work into something and they haven't. So I had to go buy sheets and I get to the store and all I want is old fashioned, 100% cotton sheets. Now you can find cotton polyester blend you can find jersey which is cotton but it's also a blend you can find um microfiber which is a blend um you can find but when it comes to 100 percent cotton they have remarketed them okay now cotton number one has properties just like fibers okay just like wool fiber it, it's it's a plant fiber so just like animal fiber it has separate properties and one of the things that it's always been is cooling self-wicking you know just like wool is flaming god made them that way not man god um the universe if that's what you believe but man has done nothing to improve the 100 percent cotton sheet since it was invented okay it's 100 percent cotton is 100 percent cotton so i go to get these and they have marketed them as temperature controlling self-wicking and they have and they have jacked the price way up 100 percent cotton is ninety dollars whereas the polyester 
whatever cotton blend is 35. This makes no sense to me because there's more work that you have to do to go into blending those blends than there is in the 100% cotton. And it's not even like, here's the thing, guys. It's not even like it's a 1,200 thread count. It's a 350 or 375 thread count, just like the ones my granny used to get at Montgomery Wards or Sears. Now, if that don't beat all. So the problem I was having with the sheets is that they keep sliding off the bed. The mattress, I guess, is too thick. So here's what I've come up with. And I don't know if it's going to work because I did buy a new pair of sheets while I worked on this. So I put straps at different intervals with a loop in them. And I'm going to run a piece of uh, polyester string down it, one big enough, and then just put like a drawstring. And that should hold the edges up. The elastic is gone. If I replace the elastic, it takes forever to get the fitted sheet back on there. So this is just my way of dealing with it because the sheet itself is good. It just comes off the bed in the middle of the night and irritates me. And it is what it is. So this is my fix it. I just made straps, but, uh, sewed it on. I actually made eight and then didn't think, I don't think I need them, but I may have to change and put these two on there. We'll see how that goes. So that's my whole sheet saga. Then I got that done. I did that on Saturday. Um, Sunday, I decided I wanted to sew. It hit me that I needed to get Christmas for the office under control. So I, uh, Worked on what's over here. Here's one. Um, so I'm making phone stands for everybody. Just simple little. I have. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. Seven halfway and seven done. So I have seven that I just have to do this back stitch on. Then I have. Seven. I am so sorry about that wobble. Then I have seven that I'm done with. So that's going to be the little phone stand. You put your phone right here. This just has rice. This has rice and some polyfill in them. Um, I just have this stitch left to do on seven of them. And it is a little bit to get it. I have learned to not overfill them because not only does it make your phone kind of poof this away, but it makes it easier to sew. But, and I just did these with scraps. This is a 12 inch by five inch piece, make a sack. And then I, uh, I made the sack, but left this open right here and then put, oops, put, filled it from here with the rice, did a half inch from the bottom. This is an inch from the bottom. That's a half inch from the bottom. The rest is there. So I just did. 12 inches long by five inches wide and it seems to work. Okay. So, and I actually made myself one and took it to the office and made sure that it was going to work for what we need. Um, anyway, I think these three are the only three that repeat this color. I think there's just, there's four of these and then the rest of them have, I think there's, four of those, two of these, and the rest are scraps that there wasn't enough to do anything with. So, yeah. Now, the reason that these are scraps is because I also, while I was out looking for sheets and get, being disgusted with that, I went to Hobby Lobby and I found two pale colors that I want for a base of a quilt. This is a very light peach. And this is a green. Okay, I know that the light in here is not the greatest for this because I'm at the wrong angle. I don't know. There you go. 
Okay. And I got enough that, yeah, I'm going to make a quilt. So I cut all of these up, figured out how much, did my math. Okay, so this is not my final one. I don't know where my final one is, but <coughs> I measured, I want it to be queen size. Hmm, sorry. I want it to be queen size. So queen size is 94 by 105 inches. Each of these blocks that I've done has come out to 15 inches. So, and they're actually bigger than that. I'm just saying they're at least 15 inches. Okay. So, um, if they're 15 inches, I'd rather have it a little bit larger than, you know, a little smaller. But we will see when I get one that's going to be long enough because I'm going to put an inch in between each one. So, if I'm doing seven row, uh, seven across, seven squares by eight rows, it's going to be 56 squares that I need. If I'm doing six by seven rows, it's going to be 42 squares that I need. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to go a little bit smaller because I want to put a two inch strip. I say two inch. Now it's going to be a strip that's two inches wide, but it's going to have my seam allowance. So it'll end up being an inch and something. But anyway, so I've done the math and what is going to tie this quilt together is the colors. Um, the base colors, I guess you'd call it. So I took my two base colors and these four blocks, I made these and they're going to go one in each corner. Okay. And this is with the peach and green. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four right here. And I've got my four corner and this will have an inch and a half in between each one. So got my four corners. I have cut all of my bases for the 42. Now I have extra yardage if I need to, um, go up to the 56. Okay. So then I sat and I played and I just went through my stash and I'm just going to hold these up. There's that one. The only thing I bought was the two base colors. I made this one. I made this one. Made this one. This actually has, I know it's hard to see, but it's got some uh, flowers and that on it. It's kind of a yellowy. Now I had enough in my scrap to do two of these. All right. So if you noticed, I did one in each base color. So there's the peachy pink and there's the green. And these are made with the same fabric. So these two, and I'm thinking that these two will be in the, a different row is what I was thinking. I'll just put them here. Then I had this one. That's a little red with flowers. Uh, and then there's two more. I had this one, which is purples and squirrels. And, and then I have this one. And you'll notice that most of these are the same material. Here's the red one. <laughs> Here's the, so yes. And I use scraps from the ends for making the blocks. You know, I had like this much, that's where I got the measurements and that's, so it all is kind of working together and I've got all of that done. So I feel like it was productive week. Um, but yeah. <laughs> also, if you watch RJ, he is back. He was on Santa Rosa, Texas on the Cowboy Channel. So if you get the Cowboy Channel live, 
you can go on there and watch him rope. He wasn't real happy with his run, but his horse kept pulling the calf away, and those were really fresh calves. They'd never been tied before, so they all strained. So, yeah. Um, he's been back to doing the rodeo thing and keeping it together. So, anyway. All right, guys. I think that is all I've got for you today. Um, I don't know. I do know that I'm going to make these the quilt. Um, I'm not worried about the color, the, the printed part coming together. Um, everything else is going to be in a pattern. So these four will be in the corner and then it will alternate green peach, green peach, green peach, whatever I do. So that's why the even amounts. Um, and then the next row will be peach, green, peach, peach green. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot one thing. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I have been working on this. And this is the hook latch. And I have all of the background done. The rest that is in here is just the deer. So I am going to start from the head down and go. But yeah, I'm actually working right in here. You can see I've got a couple, but I just, and then I just have this corner to do. So yeah, it's just the deer. It's all I have left. Um, all the trees and all, background and all that are done. So yeah, I have been making progress on it too. I'm hoping to have this done and actually I'm ready to, I don't know if I'm going to give it to RJ. I'm going to ask him if he wants it. If he doesn't want it, I have a plan for it. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, I started it back when he was a kid. So yeah, he's 26 now. I don't know. Took me a while on that project. Okay. Anyway. All right. I'm going to get off of here. I've got to get ready for work. Um, tonight I'm going out to eat with a girlfriend. Um, I think that's all I've got. Really? I think we whipped through it. A lot of sewing. I did finish that. Now I have been working on the white sweater, but it's just right now I'm make, adding length to the sleeves. So when I sit and watch TV in the other room, I do it. Um, the sleeves are not even right now. And that's why I'm not showing it to you because one is like really long. One's short. It's like, yeah, it's every cartoon you've ever seen. So, all right, I'm off of here. You guys, um, like I said, check the cowboy channel every once in a while. I will let you know when RJ is on there. Um, even live events will replay. So, uh, he is on Santa Rosa on May 18th. So if you want to go back and check that out, you can. And yeah, he's the first one out of the box, by the way. He is up first in the cap broken. All right. You guys have a great week and start thinking about those Christmas gifts because now is the time to start them. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.